again, I can speak mainly from our local perspective, and I, I remain connected uh, operationally with some hospitals and health services and governments in advising them as part of key committees. Um, we're really starting to get to grips with this. I wouldn't say our health system in Australia is completely on top of it, but there is a widespread recognition now that, um, let's be positive for a minute, if the sector wants to leverage AI to get better and improve things for all concerned, and I think many of us share that view, then they know they need to be right on top of AI governance and data governance as an underpinning contributed AI governance. It's funny that we're we're meeting today, just today I became aware of an issue that bubbled up in the last week or so, which is illustrative of why this is so important. Um, we have a very successful radiology AI company in Australia. It's delivered product into many countries, including the UK, into Australia. Um, and for some reason, our National Information Commissioner, the Australia, Office of the Australian Information Commissioner, is now sort of investigating um, how that company has acquired its training scans and the role of the radiology companies in providing them. Now, from what I know of that situation, I don't think at the end of the day anybody will, will be severely reprimanded or anything major has gone wrong. But it shows that there's this issue as well of, of privacy and security and um, governance. There's this issue of social license and trust that underplays all that as well. So I guess on, a, on one hand, unless you're involved in that, it's actually a good thing. The system's working. Someone's made it, raised a concern and the system will investigate. Um, it just talks to how important this is going to be for all concerned.